So Top Rank just pulled one of my videos from like a couple of years ago because I had used a little bit of uh, Golovkin Rosado footage. I mean, I had no idea they owned it, but apparently they do. And apparently they don't like me. I don't blame you guys, but um, still, I'll give you a pro tip. Get somebody with the camera who knows how to use the damn thing and can maybe pull things into focus just a little bit better. So we could see what's going on. I mean, how embarrassing. See, this is what I'm talking about. Shout out to Fight Hub TV. Focus. Give the video a like. Comment, sub. Check out my Patreon. Cash out. It's all there. Anyway, in the description. So, um, yeah, top rank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a bunch of clowns. Anyway, now that I got that off my chest, um, Shakur didn't make weight. He came 1.6 pounds over, so quite a bit. Uh, you know, I've always said he's massive. He looks to be the size of Regis Progre right now, maybe a little bit bigger even. Um, at the same time, you know, he's very young and... It shouldn't be that difficult to make 130. So if you look at his face and his eyes, right, his eyes are sunken in, his cheeks are sunken in, he's definitely sucking a lot of water out, right? But then when you look at his body fat, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, he looks good, he's fit and all that, but Conceição, you know, is burning up all the fat he could burn up and still be able to perform, right? And Shakur isn't, quite as cut up right he doesn't have to do all that he did he he didn't feel like he had to right that that's what i see right so he probably didn't train all that hard for this fight you know what i mean and he dropped as much water weight as he felt comfortable dropping without uh draining himself too much and he probably thinks he's just gonna cruise in this fight right so can say so beat uh much better version right roided up much better version of baldis who was actually trying to win but couldn't do it right he beat him up arguably won every single round right uh shakur stevenson cleaned him up as he explained to you in the pre-fight lead up cleaned uh valdez up right no cheating in this fight and valdez said yes sir yes sir master boss sir. um and, you know, won a pretty comfortable decision over Avaldis, who clearly wasn't there to win. I explained all of that. It's the video of that fight with my commentary is on Daily Motion. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. It's all there. Um, and in the one round that Valdez actually tried, he absolutely dominated Shakur, right? And then stopped doing whatever was working for him. And... Um, Stop trying, basically, right? So, all that to say that Conceição beat a much better version of Valdez a little bit better than Shakur did, right? He's a gold medalist, not a silver medalist. He's taller, rangier, more experienced, right? Take corruption out of it. Conceição should be a slight favorite, right? Put the, you know corruption i'm talking about judges you know what i mean so on and so forth it put that into the equation and maybe shakur should be a slight favorite i haven't checked the odds but i'm gonna say shakur is like a i'm gonna say conceição is like a six to one dog let's go check it out boy oh boy oh boy how wrong was i so Conceição is something like a nine to one dog, according to some. Right between, well, bet three sixty five got him at plus five fifty. But on average, he's like a, yeah, as he's as as low as a nine to one dog. And what? How does FanDuel have Shakur Stevenson? What? Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry. Yeah. Anyway, 
Shakur Stevenson is, is as high as minus 2,000 on some of these websites. So I'm supposed to think this is a mismatch, right? What the fuck? So clearly the bookies don't think Conceição has much of a chance of winning this fight. Almost no chance. Hmm. So, somebody explain that one to me. Well, what's what's going to happen is that I, I, I don't care about the face-off and Conceição talking the talk and, and all that other stuff. And, and maybe it's even real, you know what I mean? Or it was earlier today. But tonight, maybe, just maybe, probably, he'll get a visit from a couple of rap -a -lot thugs in his hotel room. And, well, that's going to be all she wrote insofar as a competitive top rank fight, which should be a competitive shout out to top rank fight, uh, will probably be a dud where one guy looks straight up and down, no special effects, and the other guy ain't doing shit about it. But that's just my prediction. Hopefully I'm wrong. Thanks for watching.